Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Last time, we defeated an Oompa Roompa, and I want to reap the benefits of my rewards. Or, my... Efforts. And get my rewards. So, if you use you, the Alger Fruit, you draw out the Oompa Roompa, defeat it, and then you can capture it. But, you can only do that at certain spots. Like, this one is one of the good spots. But, like, if I try it on the one to the left, or I think this one's a bad one, too, then the Oompa Roompa will just explode or disappear or something, and you'll get nothing. So, let's see. We got... Oh, yeah, by the way, about this dungeon, yeah, we can't use exit to get out of here, so we're going to have to walk all the way out with that encounter right there. Let's see, I think one of these two is also a good spot, but I forget which one. I always just use the second one from the left, and there it is. Okay, so, we got that taken care of. Let's get out of here and bring it back to the ringmaster at the circus. Okay, we're back with the Oopa Roopa in tow, so maybe this guy will like that more than 900,000 zenny. Aww. Maybe we're just warming the guy up. Maybe he really likes Ooparupas. Hey, all right. What do you mean? I thought the idea was that we were going to take the plant guy. Huh? What's that? Is it boss time? Spoiler alert! It is! But I don't want to do that yet. I want to show one other thing off that you could do differently with this scenario here. Okay, we're back at Township actually before I went to the Uparupa Cave because, well, there's another way that you can procure some algae fruits to lead or to capture them. So let's see what we got here. I got courage belts there. Let's see, all I really care about, as far as Vigor goes, is to get it above 51. So, one speed shoes, that's good enough for Bosch there. Sten is gonna have really high Vigor, no matter what he does. And Nina's the same there, too. I don't have the mystery hat, but that's okay. So, let's see, with... what is? Oh, yeah, one thing about the speed shoes. Oh, they don't say it there. Okay, I want to look at the description because someone wanted me to elaborate on this. They say it improves the initiative rate, and that's not entirely accurate. It doesn't mean, like, when you get into a battle and you get a preemptive strike against a group of enemies, it'll say you have initiative. That's not what that is referring to, or at least... I don't think that's what it's referring to. I don't think it's a bug that they don't affect your initiative rate. I just think it's unclear wording or perhaps mistranslation or something there. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Remember that for later viewers, both literally and figuratively. But yeah, what I think is up with the speed shoes is that they mean it more figuratively, you have the initiative, you'll get your turns faster than the enemies do because they boost your bigger stat. And that's really all I care about with those shoes anyway. Okay, now for this part, we need to make... Oh. I didn't think I entered the house there, but okay. Let's try this one again. Before going into the house there, you need to use the rest or time warp spell to make it daytime so you can get inside, because otherwise the door will be locked. Huh. Where'd everyone go? What's going on? Well, this is another way that you can get algae fruits. You might remember that from if you stopped off here between Windia and Capitan there. Okay. Oh, so that's why you're not here anymore. Oh, okay. I have no idea what any of that means, but okay. That's... What kind of trap? Don't answer that, viewers.
So, basically everyone who was living here, they all died. They left the stove on and the water running. What, was this place visited by the wet bandits? No. Nah. No. Nah. But I don't understand how the door could be locked at nighttime if everyone who lived here is dead. How does that even work? What do you got, automatic time blocks or something on the place? I don't know. But I do know that I want to go into the Alger Woods here. Alger Woods, or however you want to pronounce it. Let's see, how are we doing here? I did fight one battle, but I did not take any damage. Okay, we're good, we're good. Who's there? I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. The Lost Woods? No. No, that's another game. Oh, hey. How's it going? Yeah, I'm going to make you sing for mercy. For boss time against Algernon. Or Algernon. She doesn't look that tough. Whoa! What is this? Medora's mask? No. Nah. No. Nah. This fight can be a little tricky, but nothing we can't handle here. So let's start with one of our regular spells there. Or dragon spells there. Let's see. I want to buff up Ryu's attack and Basha's attack. But I don't want to do that for Sten, because I'm actually going to use him for some healing since he's, well, fast enough for that. Let's see. I'm going to have Nina use her lightning spell for the best damage, because none of them have any elemental weakness. But yeah, the lady on the right there uses Rejuvenate. The one on the left casts Jolt on the whole party. So you want to watch out for that. Now, Algernon herself in the middle there, she can use Cold Breath on your party as well. So you want to try and stay on top of your HP, especially with Bosch, because he's got a Shaman and Nina as well. 14tly the two ladies on the side don't have that much HP, but they do have a lot of agility, which is why you've been seeing them go first up to this point. Okay, so now what I want to do is make sure I can keep us all healed here. Let's see, let's go... Yeah, let's go like that, then. The thing is, is that the ladies on the side, they'll just keep on reviving over and over again. So, I'm not going to worry about them too much until we take out Algernon herself. Because she's the most dangerous one, really. Fortunately, she doesn't use her cold breath that often. So, I think we'll be okay. Let's see, another couple rounds up. Oh! No, that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted Sten to heal himself. Whoops. Okay, well, that'll make things more interesting then, won't it? That's... We're not even targeting the right ones. I wish they had a confirmed thing for that auto battle. Ow. Well, at least Bosch and Nina are still okay. Kind of. Can I get a turn? Or are we still on auto battle here? Wow, I didn't think you could revive them that quickly. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, now things get a little more interesting, don't they? Hmm. You know, I've almost got her. Yeah, I'm gonna go for broke. We'll just do that. Sten is... Yeah, he's definitely dead. Whatever. Hmm, can I use an ammonia on him preemptively? Yes, I can! Although, it remains to be seen if it'll actually work. Yeah, what I wanted Sten to do was heal up. Oh, we got a little auto-revive thing going there. Sometimes, when you die, I think it's with your gut stat, that determines the odds of being revived. 
or automatically, not with the ammonia there. So if you would have otherwise had a fatal attack, well, you get back up again. Well, that worked out better than I thought it would. I didn't think I was ever going to be able to demonstrate that. Hmm. Well, the rest is relatively simple, so we might as well just go all out. I'm not even going to continue with this file, so I'm, a, I'm not even worried about everyone getting their share of the experience. Let's just take care of this and move on, then. Yeah, look at that damage from the twin bow there. Love that thing, especially with the ginseng. Hey, that kind of ran. Oh, rejuvenate. Yeah, I already got that spell for her in the other file. Leech power lets you drain AP from enemies. But I never use it because we already have enough AP and AP restoring items and stuff. So for defeating her, you get the Alger Fruit. You actually can fight her after going through the Upa Rupa Cave, but you won't be able to get the Alger Fruit for some reason. Ah, okay. So yeah, you can take as much Alger Fruit as you want and go through the cave then and you'll have enough to take care of everything. But I want to actually show off one more thing that you can do in there from the previous file that I had. So I'll just meet you back over there in a moment. If I can actually get out of here. Okay, we're back where we started here. So this time, let's allow the Upa Rupa to escape there. So if you defeat it, you let it escape. We get a hidden treasure. Let's see what we got here. Hey, hey! So what do we get for our reward? Hey! hey. Not that I'm really going to use it, because we got the alloy sword now. But it's there. Now, if you leave, and then come back here. The chest there, for some reason, refills. And we get a shield there. That is not the sword. No, that's another game, viewers. And let's see, the defender's shield... Yeah, it's not even better than the Alloy Band. That is sad. Yeah, I wouldn't even bother using it. But it's there. We got a couple treasures there. So, okay. That's everything I wanted to do here. And, well, we go back empty-handed. So, let's see what happens. Back at the Circus by Melodia. Okay, we're back at the Circus here. And, well, I just want to go over my setup that I got coming up here. I want Ryu on the flame sword there. Everything else is pretty standard. The speed shoes aren't going to help him out coming up here. Let's see, Bosh, I only have... Well, I equipped him with both of the speed shoes here to get his vigor above 68 there. And I want the twin bow instead of the fire bow because if one of the two hits crit, with the twin bow, you're going to deal more damage than you would with the flame bow anyway. So, that's one reason why I like that over otherwise more powerful weapons. Let's see, nothing too different about Sten here, though I do want both courage belts. If his vigor was 67 or less, I would equip him with the speed shoes. Or, yeah, just one of those. But, I don't, well, I have experience, so I don't need to do that. And, oh yeah, by the way, if you don't have the Mystery Helm, give him a red scarf. The Mystery Helm is like a 1 in 128 drop. It's obscenely rare. Which, oddly enough, in Dragon Warrior 2, the Mystery Hat, or Mysterious Hat, is also a 1 in 128 drop. Coincidence? I think not. And, let's see, for Nina, yeah, nothing special that I want to change there. So, let's get our ticket. I decided to come back here, or come back to the circus from this room, simply because I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't, like, some automatic trigger for the cutscene that somehow I missed or forgot about or whatever. Well, we didn't get the Upa Rupa, but even if you... 
uh, don't get the Uparupa or the money, you can still proceed anyway. You do have to try to get an Uparupa, but once you fail or just let it go, you can come back here and everything proceeds the same no matter what you do anyway. <laughs> Although, I did go back and fight Algernon off-screen on this file. Which is less than I can say for you, for boss time, Ringmaster. Okay, so, first things first. This guy is weak to fire! And, I don't have to use the Flame Dragon, but I'm going to anyway. And, let's see, let's get a Jinsen going on my three frontline fighters there. I may need Stand to Heal, but we'll see how things go from here. One thing about the Ringmaster here is that he can cast Rejuvenate and has... I, I don't know which spell it is. It's one of those Earthquake spells. I guess it's 8.0, but they don't announce, like, a spell. Haha! -ha! Yeah, having that Fire Elemental helps out Sten quite a bit. Or not Sten, uh, Ryu, that is. And this will take a good chunk off of his HP, too. See, this guy is not incredibly fast. Oh, this guy has 66 agility, not 68. I was thinking of the Uparupa, who had 68, and I was confused there. Okay, let's see. Well, yeah, just, hmm. Do I want Sten to heal Ryu? Nah, I think we're fine. I'll play it a little risky. Why not? And yeah, Nina doesn't really have much better to do. I could have her try to debuff the Ringmaster, but he has quite a bit of magic resistance. I mean, he's not outright immune, but since he does have an elemental weakness, I want Nina to take advantage of it. And yeah, this is going to hurt. Ow! I can't afford to take many more hits like that, though. Especially for Bosch and Nina. I want to keep their fusions going. Hooray! We got him! So yeah, basically, no matter what you do, you're going to be going through that boss fight anyway. Ha ha. Ha ha. It's funny to me. Man, what is with all these demons? <laughs> no, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. You're being paranoid, Bosh. Well, yeah, what is it with all these demons anyway? Hey, how's it going? Ah, oh. hmm, nuts. Ah, oh. okay, what do you mean? Oh, okay. You can fit through those bars? Yeah. You are such an idiot. Why didn't you just leave at any time? We could have... You could have just escaped or something. <laughs> wow. These JRPGs are just reading my mind lately. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, her name, by the way, is short for Asparagus. Not a big fan of asparagus, I'll be honest with you viewers. Or any vegetable for that matter. Well, potatoes are good. Oh, well yeah, we knew that already. Sorry if I was going through the dialogue a little quickly there. Oh, okay. Wow, that was fast. You mean we didn't have to go through that boss fight or anything? Ah. Hmm. Well, my guess is demons. Ah, well, good for you. Hmm. So what do we do then? Ah, where's that guy? Ah, that's... Okay, yeah, let's get 
Get moving, then. Ah, okay. Well, when Aspara says the Sea of Green, that's not like the ocean or something. No, it's... There's a forest there that we can go to, which is where the Elder Tree is. And now we have more party members with Aspara. And she's going to round out my final party members. The reason why I like her, or him, or... Well, the gender thing is... It fluctuates with Aspara. I'll explain that in a moment. But the reason why I like Aspara is... Well, partially because I'm not going to be using the ninth character. Although I will be recruiting them, but not right now. But Aspara gets every buff and debuff spell in the game, I think. And you could also teach Aspara some damage spells later on, which I'll be doing. But the real big thing about Aspara is that, I mean, I still consider her a T tier 2 character. Aspara's not that obscene. And, yeah, Vigor's not so good either. But, uh, Aspara gets quite a bit of HP and AP, which gives her a lot more survivability than Nina does to maintain her shaman forms. Now the thing with Aspara is that if you uh, fuse her with the Sesso shaman or the water shaman, then Aspara will literally become female. There's actually an event later on in the game where having a female character in your party is mandatory. So we can use Aspara for that purpose. And I almost always have Aspara fused with the Water Shaman, so I'm going to refer to as Aspara as female. Not to mention, well, if you look at her avatar there, yeah, she looks like a Borg Queen. Holy cow, look at that. But yeah, she's several levels behind the rest of us, and she has as, almost as much AP, or HP, er, yeah, she has even more AP than, like, Bosh, and she's got the HP to boot, so, yeah, with that, the survivability with the spells that Aspara learns, yeah, she's already got some good stuff, although the agility up spell is bugged, so that doesn't work, but she does get some other stuff to help her out, too. But I wonder how things are going over there at Gate itself. Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.